Hi everyone, my name is Arbab Kaushik and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to yet another video. In this video, I'll be talking about how to pass your AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate examination. So earlier I have created uh, three more videos on this topic. First one is how to pass your AI practitioner exam. Second one is how to pass your cloud practitioner exam. And third one is how to pass all the available AWS certification. So I'm fully certified in AWS. I have all the available AWS certification. And this is going to be my third video on this series, right? So first, let's see this batch. So after passing this exam, you will get this batch. I have given this exam on March 15th and it'll expire on uh, 2027. So let's go to the homepage of this certification. Uh, as you can see, AWS Certified Architect Associate is a focused on design of cost and uh, performance optimized solution. So it's not just about passing, uh, creating your infra and AWS, right? Now it is about cost and performance optimization also. Also, cost should be down and your performance should be up, right? So these two things you have to take care uh, uh, while preparing for this certification. So if we go to the actual uh, exam guide, uh, first let's see the domain for this exam. So this exam has four domain. First is design secure architecture. Then second is design uh, resilient architecture which consists of 26%. First one consists of 30%. Then we have design high performing architectures which consists of 24% of the total exam. Then you have uh, design cost optimized architecture which consists of 20%. So you can see uh, there's a huge focus on cost optimization in this certification. So uh, study this uh, part very well. Now, the question is from where to study, right? So I will show you both free resources and paid resources. First, we'll go to the paid one, which I have followed. So I have used for all my AWS certification, I have used Stefan Merrick courses only. Uh, you can search on Udemy, AWS Solutions Architect, you will get his uh, course. And this course is around 27.5 hours, which is a long course because the syllabus of this certificate is very huge, right? Then I have followed his practice test also, which consists of around 390 questions. So these two are the uh, paid resources that you can follow. But if you want free resource, uh, there is a one YouTube video which you can follow. So on YouTube, just search AWS Solutions Architect. You will get a video from freecodecamp.org. This video is around 50 hours of uh, content, right? So it's a, it's a very big YouTube video. This certificate can easily take around two to three months of your time if you want to actually pass this certification, right? Let's take a deep dive on the certification uh, content. So uh, on the domain. So if we see the first domain, which is design secure architecture, right? In this, you have to study controls and management across multiple accounts. If you have multiple accounts, how will you manage them? How will you secure them, right? Then you have to study the identity center, AWS IAM, single sign-on, global infrastructure, availability zones, AWS regions, principle of least privilege. This is very important. Then the shared responsibility model. You will get a lot of questions on this, right? See, this uh, course, uh, this certification is very huge. So you have to give uh, around two, three months of time to actually pass the certification. Then you should be skilled in IAM, MFA, STS, SCPs, right? You can see the syllabus is huge. Then we move on to the second section, uh, which is design resilient architecture. In this, you should know how to design scalable and loosely coupled architecture. If it's a tightly coupled architecture, it is it, it can fail, right? So we have to build loosely coupled architecture. In loosely coupled architecture, you need uh, services like API gateway and uh, transfer family, SQS, secrets manager, caching strategies, then what is horizontal scaling, what is vertical scaling, how do you uh, configure the CDNs, how do you configure the load balancer, for example, application load balancer, gateway load balancer, uh, network load balancer, depending on the situation, you have to select what is the appropriate load balancer for specific questions. Then storage types, orchestration, in orchestration of containers, you will uh, use, uh, you will learn how to use uh, ECS or EKS, these two services are used for container management and container orchestration. Then we'll move on to the uh, next section, which is uh, design high performing architecture. In this, you have to learn about EFS, EBS. These are the storage type where you will store your data, right? 
uh, then you have to use uh, compute services like batch, EMR, Fargate, then uh, uh, AWS global infrastructure, queuing and messaging, for example, you have to use SQS, SES, SNS, there are, in this course, you have to learn about 50 plus uh, services from AWS, and some of the services you have to do a deep dive to actually pass the certification, right? So it's, it, it's a lot to learn, right? So what should you do? So what I have did, I have followed these cheat sheets. Uh, you can just go to digital cloud training and then go to free resources and click on cheat sheet by certification. So if you go down, they have created cheat sheets for every certification. You can see cloud practitioner, AI practitioner, sysops, developer, solutions architect. For this one, we will select the solutions architect, right? And here you can see they have created cheat sheets specific to uh, different services. For example, in this, you will learn about analytics, then application integration, then compute. In compute, you will learn about EC2, Lambda, EKS, ECS. These are the compute services from AWS. Then you have the databases like RDS, uh, DynamoDB, Aurora, then AWS management tools, media services, migration, networking and content delivery, where you will learn about VPC, subnet, CDNs, uh, etc. Then you have the security, identity and compliance. This section is very important because you have to design all the solutions with security in mind. Security is uh, most important uh, while uh, answering the question in the actual exam, right? Then you have the AWS storage services. So you can see you have a lot to learn in this certification. So take your time. Uh, take any of the free courses or the paid courses, study about uh, all the services that they are teaching, learn, ha do a hands-on. AWS is giving free $100 uh, if you sign up with your uh, email ID, right? So learn about different services, do some hands-on, do some practice, then give the practice test. And in practice test, if you're getting around 80% of the marks, then go to the actual examination. And if you pass and if all goes well, uh, you will get a badge which looks like this, which you can post on LinkedIn or your Instagram or wherever. Uh, so yes, this, this is going to be my third video on the series. And if you want, uh, uh, if you want any more videos from me, just let me know, put it down in the comments. I will make sure to reply you all. And thank you so much. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.